Today I'm going to show you guys how to swap out and wire up the batteries for a 24 volt trolling motor. I've got my new batteries here. Make sure you get the deep cycle and uh, let's get started. So I took my boat out for a sea trial yesterday and everything worked perfect except for one very important thing, my trolling motor. My trolling motor went out, so that meant I couldn't fish along the mangrove line, I couldn't fish the flats, and I couldn't get as skinny as I wanted to get yesterday. I inspected the batteries and one of them literally popped. It was completely dry. You know, the batteries are a few years old, so I, you know, I figured today, let me go ahead and get new batteries, wire them up, and show you guys how to do it. This show is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Miami's premier bait and tackle shop. Swing by for all of your fresh and salt water needs. They've got all the lures and tackle that you need, fishing rods and coolers, live bait, and a friendly smile. And don't forget to mention CEO Fishing when you stop by. Here we go. Okay, so this battery right here, the caps are blown off, so I immediately disconnected it. Hopefully the battery acid doesn't mess up anything in here. And this is the mess that I have right now. Don't worry about that. I'll sort it out when I rewire everything. First thing I want to do is disconnect this other battery here. Like I said, I, I did the other one on the boat yesterday just because I didn't want to risk any fire or anything like that. And uh, never let people borrow your, your stuff because someone borrowed my uh, 11. I've never got it back. 14. Good to go. Let's go ahead and take these off. Just loosen it up here, loosen it up here, and it should just come off with your fingers at that point. These are my positives for this side, my negatives. Yeah. <sighs> Woo! As you get older, this gets a lot more difficult on your back. All right, now let's drop these other ones in. Straight drop and feed. Same thing over here. I reinforced the fiberglass down here um, because I did have an issue with the fiberglass breaking before and the batteries literally dropped into the hull of my boat. I'm lucky I didn't have any damage in the, to the hull, but it wasn't fun and it was very expensive to fix. So hopefully doing, showing you guys this, you can save a little bit of money. This is my positive to the trolling motor. I am going to connect that to the positive of this battery here. And what we're gonna do is connect the positive for the charging system here as well. And I'm going to tighten that down. I'll tighten everything afterwards with the wrench. And now I wanna jump from this negative over to this positive. So I have a wire for that. And since I'm going to connect this, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my negative charger side. And let me get down here and adjust the camera for you guys. All right, so basically what you have here is the positive to positive going out to the trolling motor. I connected the positive from the charging system right here then from this negative i have a jumper cable that connects to the positive on this side now i'm going to hook the battery charger to this positive on this side now i connect the negative to the trolling motor right here along with the negative for the battery on this side just to recap battery number one i connect the positive directly to the trolling motor then I jump from the negative to the positive of battery number two, and then the negative from battery number two goes out to the trolling motor. Now my batteries are wired in series, and I can run my trolling motor at 24 volts. Let's go ahead and tighten these down a little bit. Let me see if my trolling motor has power. The moment of truth. All right, I got juice. All right, I got my remote, let's power up. Okay, I pilot. Let's see. Left. Right. Let's see speed. Check it all down there. That's it. My only problem with the trolling motor was literally that my batteries were bad and it was a super easy fix. Man, I wish I had this working yesterday. So one more recap, guys. Battery number one 
positive to the trolling motor. Negative takes a jumper cable to the positive of battery number two. Then the negative from battery number two runs to the trolling motor from there. Then you connect your charging system. For this one, I have positive to negative, positive to negative, just like normal. That's it. I hope it saved you some time. I hope it saves you some money.